are you aware that this Senate sat and conducted an independent investigation in that respect? I, I'm, I'm not even aware. Are you aware? I'm, I'm only aware of the investigation ESCC conducted. Yeah. So in respect to this motion that is before the assembly, what investigation did you conduct that relates to the gift in this assembly? It was, I was requested to talk about... We are talking about yes. the notice of impeachment now, before the assembly, Mr. Witness. I'm referring to the summons that I was given by this house. And your summons must relate to the proceedings, correct? I'm not the originator of the summons. How would I know how it relates? I will confide myself to the summons. And there are three issues I was to address. One of them is gifts. How many companies bidded in that particular process? I think there were about 17. There were about 17? Yes. Did all the bids pass? Pass in terms of uh, award? Yes. Finally, the award was given to Did two companies. Yes, the which award. companies were they? Uh, let me, let me give, get the names. Yeah, the two companies that eventually won after the Global Fund uh, conducted their own uh, tender. Yes. One is called Tianjin, your call, International Trading Company. Limited. Mr. Witness. Yes. The other one is A to Z. Do you know what led to the cancellation of the tender? I know. Yes, what led to the cancellation of the tender? It was direct favorism to Shobika. It was direct favorism to Shobika. And, 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 and you know. Please get tender? hold of the volume three of the documents by the Deputy President. Sorry? You get hold of volume three. Council, you may assist me. Volume three of our bundle of documents. And as soon as you get it, you go to page 221. <clears throat> volume three, page 221, Mr. Witness. Just a minute. And as soon as you grab it, you go to paragraph 100. Which page? Page 221. 221. Paragraph 100. Volume 3. 221. Just one minute. Let me assist you with my bundle because you want to save time. Page 221. Which, which, which Look paragraph? At paragraph 100. Paragraph 100, yes. I'm there. Yes, paragraph 100. I'm there. <clears throat> yes, can you read what the report indicates? In its report, okay. dated 25th April 2023, Global Fund noted that KEMSA had failed to apply the evaluation criteria consistently to all bidders and that none of the bidders met the minimum requirements. So what is indicated that none of the bidders met the minimum? Requirement. Requirement, yes. Let's go to page 221, 222. Now, 222. Two, two, at paragraph 106. 222. And again, read it loudly. Notwithstanding Kemsa's reservations, in a letter dated 4th May 2023, the Acting Director Procurement recommended termination of the process. The CEO approved, and on 5th May 2023, the termination was communicated. What was leaders. terminated? The process. The process of yes. bidding, correct? Yes. Why was it terminated? Now, Paragraph 100, Mr. Uh, Witness, no, paragraph counsel, 100. Counsel, look. You know, I am cross-examining you. I will only deal with my evidence. I will not deal with the evidence of other institutions. The Senate is an independent institution. The ESCC that we know. conducted its own investigation. Please ask me questions related to the investigation. Now, after making your statement, please read the reason why the termination was actuated if at paragraph 100. If you want me just to read for the sake of it, but I'm not owning this evidence. I'm only owning the evidence by ESC. I didn't ask you to own it. Uh, yeah. Witness, the council is asking you to read a certain paragraph. Okay. Just read it. Guided. Uh, yes. Which which uh, paragraph? I have asked you to read paragraph 106, correct? 
Yes. About the terminations, correct? Yes. And I've asked you to state for the assembly the reasons why the terminations is being recommended, correct? Yes. And I've told you that that answer, you'll find it at, at page 221, paragraph 100, correct? Correct. And that the bidding was terminated because the bids failed to meet the, necessary, the minimal requirements, correct? Correct. And therefore, it, the cancellation was not as a result of your alleged favorism, correct? That is not my evidence. My evidence is... Yes, I know. ...was clear favorism. C clear favorism. Yeah. Look at paragraph 226. Uh, sorry, page 226. 226. I'm there. Yes. Look at paragraph 136. I'm there. Yeah. Read paragraph 136. In late April 2023... He learned from the global fund. Who is this learning from global funds? Oh, you just took me there. Yeah, look at paragraph 225 so that you can get to know his learning. 235 or 225? Yeah, 225. 225. That is the evidence by one uh, Dr. Andrew Mulwa, acting CEO Kemsa, correct? Now, 225. 125, if you. 225. Up here. Which paragraph? Up here. Yeah, submissions by Dr. Andrew Mulwa, as yes. CEO. So what is he saying now at paragraph 136? 136. In April 2023, he learned from Global Fund pre-award review report that the long-lasting insecticide nets tender was to be cancelled on account of inconsistencies in the bid evaluation. Yes? Yes. So what, why was it cancelled? The issue would be who caused the bid. No, no, it's not who caused. We are looking at the report. What does it indicate at that paragraph, the, pub, uh, the, the, the issues of the cancellation? Paragraph 136? Yes. On account of inconsistencies. It speaks to the fact that the bid or the tender was cancelled, correct? It does, yes. And it speaks to the reason that it was cancelled on the basis or on the reason of inconsistency, correct? Correct. And therefore your testimony that it was as a result, a result of favorism does not sit well with the evidence contained at paragraph 136 of the bundle, correct? This, my evidence... No, 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 I just want you to limit yourself to that paragraph vis-a-vis -vis what you stated. The cancellation was an inconsistency, Mr. Witness, yes? Inconsistencies, yes. But Thank you. Let's go how on. How is the inconsistency? Let us go to how does that one. You shall explain in another forum, not here. Yeah. Continue. Let's go to paragraph 230. To page 230. Page 230. Yes. Which paragraph? 230. Which paragraph? Paragraph G. G, yes. Yes. Yeah. Can you read it out? At the evaluation stage, the audit team established that only two bidders passed the preliminary evaluation and proceeded to the technical evaluation that is bidder number three Tiajin Yang Call International which which two team which two companies passed as per this one Tianjin Yang Call yes international yes bidder number seven yes premier movers limited contrary to evaluation committee is your bigger part of those bid, uh, bidders no it's not it's not yeah look at paragraph uh, look at page two Paragraph J. 231. Page 231, paragraph J. Paragraph J, yes. Yes, read J. The termination of the tender complied with section 62 of the Act and the Global Fund Guidelines. So the termination was lawful, correct? And it complied with the Procurement Act, correct or not correct, Mr. Witness? Correct. Correct. Let us look at page 246. 246. Yes, page 246, paragraph 213. 246. Paragraph 213. 213, yes. Yes, what is the yeah. report indicating? Following the cancellation of the tender at Kemsa, TNT placed an order of 10.2 million nets on wombo.org website, and procurement was subsequently done in line with the technical specifications provided by the Ministry of Health. So the nets were eventually procured, correct or not correct? They were eventually procured. And it took the interventions of uh, global funds to procure them, correct? Correct. And that you look at paragraph 215, yes? Yes, I'm there. Read it out. 
Further, prior to the cancellation of the tender, differences arose between Global Fund team and the immediate former PS, State Department of Public Health and Professional Standards with regard to the operations and ongoing at the deep NPM Ministry of Health, it was noted that these differences... It was noted that these differences may have played a role in the final decision by Global Funds to terminate the tender processes, correct? Correct. Did that have anything to do with the Deputy President? According to the statement you've just read? It, had not, it, it has, has nothing to do with the Deputy President. <laughs> Let us now finally answer your issues at page 271. 271. Page. Yes, and read loudly paragraph 24 and 25. 271. Paragraph. <coughs> 24 and 25. The committee, that is 24, the committee observed that following the termination of the tender while there, was no apparent loss of public funds. Just read it loudly. <laughs> the committee observed that following the termination of the tender, while there was no apparent loss of public funds, there was no apparent loss of? It's a loss to USD 455,589.4, approximately 70 million in procurement fees. The report from the Senate indicates there was no loss of public funds, correct? Let me read this paragraph again so that we, we, we are yes. together. Yes, proceed. The committee observed that following the termination of the tender, while there was no apparent loss of public funds, just put, Kemsa put, put a post up there, post. What has the committee observed? You don't want me to finish the yes, sentence? Yes, you, you, I'll, I'll, I'll lead you to that other part. Okay. What has the committee observed? No public funds lost. No public funds lost. In your investigations, separate investigations that you conducted did you arrive at the same conclusion the term, the did you or did you not there was no public funds lost there was no the public funds lost terminated. thank you yeah so let us look at paragraph 25 25 yes yes read it out the committee observed that the cancellation of the tender appeared to have been influenced by global funds apparent effort to exert significant control over the procurement process from the beginning to the end thank you what occasioned the cancellation? The cancellation of the tender appeared to have been influenced by the Global Fund's apparent effort to exact, to exact significant control over the procurement process. Is there any evidence indicating that the deputy president was involved in that processes? No. Was his companies involved? No. Was his family involved? No. Any evidence that you have before this assembly? To that respect? The evidence I have. No, any evidence that they were in, any of them were involved? On this report? Or my evidence? This report. On this report, no, but my evidence is. Let us go to the next paragraph, yeah? This concluded that Global Funds teams based in Geneva, Switzerland, making multiple trips to Nairobi, Kenya, at least three times during the relevant Which period, age? raising concerns about the um, autonomy and the ability of the local government. Just read it out. That is paragraph 20. Yes, the same, same paragraph. Okay. The committee observed that cancellation of the tender appeared to have been influenced by Global Fund's apparent effort to exert significant procurement process from the beginning to the end. This included Global Fund team based in Geneva, Switzerland, making multiple trips to Nairobi, Kenya, at least three times during the relevant period, raising concerns about the autonomy and the ability of the local government agencies. The autonomy of the organization, correct? Of Let us look at paragraph 222 again. Sorry, page 222. Two, page 222, Mr. Witness. 222. Two, two. And while, while you get there, you look at paragraph 105, 107. Page 222. Paragraph? 107. Would, it, would you kindly read it out? 107. It is further her testimony that I, I don't know whose testimony this is. Yeah, that is a testimony of the submissions of Terry Ramathani, immediate CEO. Okay. Yes, you find that at page 219. Yeah, but now I'm interested in paragraph 105, 107. It, it was further her testimony that the authority had struggled to maintain its autonomy. The authority has struggled to maintain its autonomy, yes. 
owing to the undue influence owing to undue interference, interference by the cabinet secretary from the cabinet secretary for health yes post who yeah. was the permanent who was the cabinet secretary for health at the, the time in, uh, in issue well, we can check that one yeah who was i, I this regime has only had two, um, two me, cabinet secretaries let me just confirm from my records here because she did a letter to us so Council General. The name is uh, I, I, just, just hold on, witness. This is what Hold on, Mr. Abdi. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Council General. Yes, Mr. Speaker. I, I thought when you're cross examining a witness, you cross examine on the evidence they've given. You no, 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 no. abandoned his evidence. Those are not the rule of cross examination, Mr. Speaker, sir. I respectfully because, beg to you differ. Know, the, reason, the reason why the witness has difficulties. He doesn't have difficulties in the speaker. No, he has. He has no, I am asking him to read. Okay, I will be guided. Proceed. If that's your line of argument, proceed. Thank you for giving the latitude. Yes. Who was the cabinet secretary at the time the bid was being cancelled? She is Namu. Nakumicha. Nakumicha. Wafula. Has this Senate found that what occasioned all these cancellations of these tenders was the loss of the autonomy of Kemsa? I would want to confine myself to my evidence. I know. At this time, I would want to, to talk about the evidence. Okay, then read that paragraph. Which, Just read for me. Which paragraph? Paragraph 107. And I want to finish up with you. Okay. Paragraph, paragraph 107. It was further her testimony that the authority had struggled to maintain its autonomy owing to the undue inference, interference from the Cabinet Secretary for Health. For instance, she stated that on 22nd March 2023, she received a note from the CS asking her to assist a certain Mr. Ken Ogola. She received a note from the CS asking the CEO to assist one Ken Ogola, correct? As per this statement, yes. Have you seen any um, company associated with the Deputy President being no. accused of these interferences? No. Let's go to your bundle as I finish up, volume 8A. Any evidence from volume 8A that you've brought that links? Yes. That? that links the deputy president's company to the cancellation of the tender? Yes. Look at your paragraph, look at your letter dated 23rd September. Your letter dated 23rd September and look at the recommendations. Yes. What are you recommending? 